Oh, uh, ooh, 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 Is there something wrong, honey? I think I'm gonna poop something out big. Let's take you to the doctor. Doc, is she gonna be okay? Yes, she's just pregnant. You just gotta push, 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 push. Yay, the baby is finally here. What do you want to name it? I think I'll name it Banjo because he looks too much like Banjo. You can go home now. This is Banjo with his parents at age one. It's Christmas 1998 and we're opening presents and I'll control the camera. Say hi to the camera, Banjo. I want my presents now. I know Banjo can't wait to open his presents, but anyways, Merry Christmas. And fortune Ellie. In April 1999, Banjo was living in Littleton, Colorado. And worse, his parents were teachers at Columbo High School while he was at home. On the 20th of April, it happened. The Columbo shootings. Banjo thought his parents got killed in the shooting so he decided to run away to Las Vegas. I can't believe my parents died at the high school they work at. I gonna go run away. I'm gonna stay here forever because my parents died. Hey kid, why are you on the streets? Because my parents died in the shootings at the high school. You're homeless and have no place to live, come with me. What is your name, kid? My name is Banjo, and I'm from Littleton, Colorado. Oh my god, Banjo, you actually live there. Those school shootings at Columbine were deadly. So why did you come here? Because my parents worked there because they were teachers and I thought they got killed so I ran away and I ended up here. I'm glad you came here or else you would have been killed back there. Welcome here, this will be your new home. On November 4, 1999 when Banjo was two years old, he finds out that his parents did not die in the shootings. Banjo, I have good news. What is it? Your parents and their students were not one of the victims. Yes. Thank God my parents are still alive. I'm gonna go back to my real home. Goodbye Banjo, have a safe trip home. I can't wait to see my parents. I can't believe our son has not been home for several months. I know, I wonder where he is. I'm right here, Banjo. We were so worried about you. Where have you been? I ran away to Las Vegas because I thought you died in the shootings. We did not die. Me, your mom, and our class has escaped the school right before the shootings started. But we're happy you came back because we missed you. In 2000, Banjo started going to preschool where he met Tootie and some other kids. Hi Tootie. Hey Banjo, can I please be your girlfriend when we are old enough? When we are like 15 years old then I'll be your girlfriend. Sounds great Tootie, I shall be later your girlfriend. Good morning class, today we will have milk and cookies but we will have to share the milk and cookies because I only have one bottle of milk and only one bag of cookies. It has plenty of cookies to share and there is one bottle of plenty of milk to share as well. We will eat all of the milk and cookies without sharing it. What's wrong kids? Why are you crying? Joyce and Jane were eating all of the milk and cookies. Oh my god, they are being put in timeout. Thanks for telling me. Joyce and Jane, you know that we got to share, that's it. You are both going to be put into timeout. I'm going to talk to your parents about this. It's not fair. Yes, it's not freaking fair. Both of you eating all of the cookies, drinking all of the milk and cookies, making children cry is not fair. You know better than that, you are in bigger trouble. Joyce and Jane, how dare you make children cry without eating and sharing it at school. You are grounded for six months. Let's go home.
At age 15, Banjo, his parents, and Tutti went on a vacation to the beach where Banjo and Tutti fell in love with each other so they started being together. Oh my god Tutti, you are so pretty. <laughs> I know, you are so pretty as well. This love is too strong that I will never ever let you go. Yeah, we should be together forever. He grew up so fast, 